Living on the edge, it's more than just an expression for some people who live near Lake Michigan in the village and town of Summers. You see that house right there? Well, half of it is hanging over the edge. Evan Peterson introduces you to the man who says that he and his neighbors, they're getting, it's getting a little too close for comfort. A home with a view doesn't mean much. Every day we worry about the east storms coming. When it comes at the cost of it, possibly crashing down one day. Now the lake level's so high that it's starting to eat underneath and then everything's falling over. Daryl Carl, a neighbor to this now abandoned house, says that it used to have a sunroom and a back deck, but now. What in the last year and a half, Mary, all that two years, it fell over. I mean, it just all went away. A major issue of shoreline and bluff erosion that's also putting Carl's house at risk. It's our retirement and it's washing into the lake. The family says they've been living here for just over three decades. And in that time, an awful lot has changed, including the fact that they used to have a big staircase and a nice landing down there that, well, disappeared three years ago. We had stairs down there. One, one morning we woke up, they were completely gone. Disappearing property and houses on the verge of diving in hasn't gone unnoticed by village officials. The village had actually has actually put in a raise order to have that house removed for a while, but we've been working through the process with the bank that actually holds the mortgage now for them to get rid of it. As the wind blasts and the waves roll, this house continues to linger above the water. The problem's probably not going away for anytime soon. A concern that's getting worse one wave at a time. In the village and town of Summers, Evan Peterson, Fox 6 News. Just incredible there. Let's turn to our weather now. Beautiful day out.